What's up, it's your boy Kevin here. Back on again with this YouTube shit. How y'all niggas doing? How y'all niggas doing? I hope y'all like these motherfucking videos I've been pumping out for y'all niggas. And coming out left and right with these videos, bro. I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna come up with these videos left and right for y'all niggas. We finna explode on this shit, bro. I'm telling y'all, niggas. This video is about, you dig? It's about, um, uh, the recap of 2020, 2020. 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020 in this bitch. Man. 2020 was some type of year, bruh. 2020. Well, 2019 was a type of year for me, but that's back in the past. Fuck all the other shit about the 2019. 2019, dead ass was a, some type of year for me too, but 2020 was a cool, crazy ass fucking year, bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. 2020 for me was crazy. In the beginning of 2020, I was working, well, beginning of 2020, I was working at Popeyes. You did? I was walking at Popeyes, at Popeyes and shit. But, I didn't like it. So, cause my people was tripping, so I decided, let me go to college and go to Austin for cooking. So I went to Austin. Bro, that shit was crazy. Going down there was crazy because I I had just got my car fixed and shit. In the beginning of the year, I had wrecked it. And I was trying to get the mechanic to fix my car and shit. And he fixed it, you know what I'm saying? It took like a day a day or two. I actually good ass mechanic. I should have went to these motherfuckers in the first place. I shouldn't have went to this trash ass mechanic I went to. Damn I'm, I forgot about all about these niggas, bro. But, um, yeah, so I drove all the way down to, um, to Austin and shit, which was lit. You know what I'm saying? I never drove no four hours. I never been to Austin like that. And I went down to Austin. You know what I'm saying? Y'all seen a little bit of it. Okay, I stayed with my, um, we had got shit up in here. What the fuck is leaving a bag of chips? Fool. But, um, yeah, I went down to, um, Austin. Stay with my auntie a little bit. Then I moved into this half house. So let's just say the shit didn't end up right, you dig. Um, I met a little cutie down there. Shit didn't end up right down there either. But I went, I went to school down there and shit. Been down there for like a month. That shit was crazy. They was talking about, um, you know I'm a young hood nigga, young lit, influ influential hood nigga. So they was talking about, they said, um, cause how I dressed and shit, they are like, man, the way you act and the way you dress, bruh, people gonna wanna act like you and be like you. And they were like, they were like, they, and they didn't want people to act like me. And they were like, man, you gonna, you gonna do something. You gonna take out that hood and act a certain type of way or... We gonna have to take your grade down to, cause they gonna give me a hundred. They are gonna give me a hundred. That's how I tell y'all niggas, bruh. I'm a young hood nigga, and they try to force a nigga to be a certain type of way, which I'm not, cause you know I'm, I'm not, I'm just a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Humble, humble as possible. So um, they were like, um, you don't have to act this certain type of way. You have to take off your hood. If you don't, we gonna take your hundred to an eighty. You gonna start with an eighty instead of a hundred for your grades. So these niggas. There's some white people. They talk about just cause I how I act and how I am and how I dress. They was gonna cut. They was gonna cut my grades down. They said, yeah, the way you act and stuff. That's why you get in trouble so much because people want to follow you and people want to do what you want to do what you're doing. I'm like, man, I'm just living life and doing me. You dig? That's all. That's all I can do is live life and be me. So they was like, yeah, but you um. They say, but yeah, you, you, that, that, that's still gonna get you in trouble and you you gonna get hurt. But they wasn't they wasn't talking about just that school. They was talking about in life general, which I'm like, man, it is what it is. You dig? That's how life is. So they're like, well, they said, well, we want to start you up at an 80. I said, well, I'm used to starting off from the bottom to you know, try to get my way to the top harder than what it is. Cause they always they have, it's always harder for black people to get anything in life, bruh. It's always hard to get. Land, school, property, uh, money. It's always hard for black people to get a certain, they always got a certain type of, um, they always got a certain type of, like I said, it's always hard to get money 
um, land, property, anything, because it's harder for black people to, to you know what I'm saying, to make it, because, because they want to, they want to have a perception that, that, because just how they look, this is how we supposed to look and be like, no, nigga, just because y'all look like that, who, who fuck gave y'all the rules to say just because how y'all look and how y'all act is the right, is the right way to act and look, and I never did get that, I don't get that in life, bruh, like when you go to jobs and shit, they talking about, you're supposed to have your pants pulled up, you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do this, you act like this, but who really gave that rule, who really gave that rule, to, that, that's how you're supposed to look in life. It's not, that's not, that's not, that's not how we supposed to look in life. That's not how you meant to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm not supposed to be no uptight ass niggas. That's not me. So, like, I don't get why y'all be trying to force shit like that. And, and, what, like I said, who gave them the rules to say that's how you supposed to act and look? You know what I'm saying? Let me be me. You dig? And I, I never did understand that. So, I was like, fuck y'all niggas. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do me anyway. So they were like, because the teacher, man, the teachers up there hated me for some reason, man. I, I would just be walking, bro. And they try to fuck with me. I'm like, nigga, I don't know you. Like, completely one day, I was just walking. And I had my hoodie on. And, po- and he act like the fucking police some white dude. White dude was like, um, come here. I'm like, no, nigga, I don't fucking know you. He like, um, uh, uh, stop, stop, take off your hoodie. No, nigga, the fuck you talking about? Bitch, I don't know you. Like these people, like these, and, he, and, he, and, he, and he told the principal on me. And I'm like, bro, y'all tripping. That's when they had that conversation with me. And, like, and I'm like, man, I don't give a fuck, bro. And I, I, I did me, you dig? And, and the school closed down. I'm like, man, that's karma, bro. That's karma. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talking all that shit, and y'all school closed down, dummies. Fucking retards. I said, God been blessing me ever since, you know what I'm saying? People try to play a nigga down there, bruh. And, um, but, you know what I'm saying? It's not all about me at the end of the day either, because we did have, um, R.I.P., Brianna Taylor and George Floyd died during this time, which was sad, because it, it didn't need to happen over police violence. Like, we got all these damn rules in life, but it's feel like, it feel like the white people can take it wherever they want. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like the rules are made for them. The, the, the rules they making up is made for them motherfuckers. It's not made for us. And I don't get that, bruh. Like, I want to live my own life. And, you know what I'm saying? That, but they want to have these strict-ass rules that's made for them. And they don't understand these rules are not made for me. It's not made for every black person. It's not made for everybody. Everybody not finna look like no uptight-ass nigga, no fucking... You know what I'm saying? And, um... Uh, and that's why I was always get mad because, man, I got my own life. I got my own mind. You know, so I can talk my own shit. I be the hard, I be the hardest working person in that bitch. So then when they died, bro, when George Floyd and Brown Teddy died, bro, it just made me mad, bro. That's the main reason I even started YouTube again. Cause I'm like, man, y'all killing us. Y'all treating us badly. Y'all making us look like fucking fools. Bro, I'm getting sick and tired of this, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can't kill us, treat us badly. Like I said, bro, this little like slavery, bro. You can't do that shit, man. People want to treat us and make us some type some type of way that we not. Talk, like, who said that? Who who says that how we look is acceptable, acceptable to people? Bro, I don't care if I'm acceptable to anybody, bitch. Just because I like how I look, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just cause you don't like how I look, that don't mean shit. You did. People always want to try to force people and put their ways on people, bruh. Try to manipulate people. It, it don't make sense, bruh. And shit, and like, and that just made me mad. Like, man, y'all can't treat us like this. It's time to, it's time to speak our fucking words up, bruh. It's trying to speak our words, bruh. Because if we don't speak up, bruh, it's going to get worse than what it is, man. They not finna keep on bullying us and trying to kill us and shit over little shit, bro. I got tired of that, man. So, I said, let me speak my shit. And you never know what you can change over. You never know what can change just by speaking your word. You know what I'm saying? Speak your word into existence. You never know what can happen, bro. Like, they want to, like, you know, that's why I'm still mad about Kodak. Like, 
they they got they got these polices out walking free and shit all these people killing people and they get to go home and shit for nothing bruh and these nigga Kodak oh you know what I'm saying just people in general get to go to jail for just having weed on these weed on them bitch that don't make sense that don't make sense at all bruh so 2020 been crazy bruh recap of 2020 been crazy as hell bruh you know what I'm saying um but I've been blessed too so I, I got my I got my whip really kind of back working got some new clothes and shit Got a little flash on me, bro. I really, cause it's looking bad, low key. But I never did gave up. And if I, you know what I'm saying, and I never did gave up. And look how God blessed me, bro. You know what I'm saying. So it's like people, people. Like I'm saying, bro. Don't give up, bro. If y'all think like y'all, y'all need to do something. Y'all know y'all got God with y'all, bro. Keep on going. No matter what, what people are saying, bro. Because people, people so quick and easy, they want you to give up. People so quick and easily want you to give up. And you gotta tell these people, no, nigga. Fuck, you know where I fuck I came from, nigga? You ain't finna give up like that, y'all crazy. You know what I'm saying? I went through this shit, bruh. You know what I'm saying? But motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand it. They just see, they just see, um, they just see, they get, people like, people just get to know you for a first time and shit. They try to, um, they try to count, like, they try to act like they, you know what I'm saying, they know you because they know you for a few, for a few, a few months or some shit. Bitch, you don't know me. None of y'all know me, nigga. Y'all know what I went through to get to this shit. And I'll be damned if I let a nigga try to bring me down. Especially in 2020 when this shit be happening, bro. I'll be damned if I let a nigga bring me down. You did. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I came up from, I came up from the bottom to do this shit. And I never did gave up, and, and look how the nigga took off, bruh. Nigga trying to play a nigga, bruh. That's what I'm saying, bruh. You can't listen to these, you can't listen to these people, because at the end of the day, they're not really, a lot of people not really that try to help you, bruh. They really just trying to help themselves and hurt you, bruh. They trying to hurt you and bring you down so they can say, oh, look what I did. He, <laughs> he, he brought down, but look, I'm back up. Bitch, little bitch, you not. Like, the people out here, really, they really trifling, bruh. And that's why I found out in 2020, everybody not in it, everybody not in it for you to win it. A lot of people just in it for them. And that's sad, bruh. That's why I had God with me, so I was good, you did. But, um, like I was saying, bruh, but, um, I went to, like, 2020, I went to jail. <laughs> Shit is crazy, bro. You, I just can't make this shit up, bro. But when I was down there in Austin, bro, I had so many fucking police messing with me already. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was about to die in that bitch. But you know what I'm saying? Thank God I didn't. I needed the will to keep on going. Yeah, and I did. I had that. You feel me? Yeah. Like I, like I said, bro, it's just like people are always trying to... Do something and try to bring a nigga down. The police is the people, your, some of the family. It's like it, it didn't make sense, bruh. Like nobody want a nigga to make it, but the joke's on them. I'm gonna make it no matter what. You did. You can't bring me down. You know what I'm saying? All a nigga wanna do is help people and so that, you know what I'm saying, nigga can do it. But now nah, niggas wanna, you know what I'm saying, try to fuck with a nigga. It's, it is what it is. They gonna learn to not fuck with the, with, they fucking with the wrong nigga, bruh. People gonna learn that shit, bruh. But, um, these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers try to always try to put something on top of the black man or black people in general to always have some type of, have some type of, um, some extra steps for a nigga to make it. Like, y'all niggas tripping, bruh. And, 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 and white people have to go them extra fucking steps, bitch. They get, they get on the shit just like that. But you know what I'm saying? That's what. That, but that's why I like being black because they make it harder for me to get to the top. But when I get to the top, I ain't letting that shit go. And I know what it takes to get to the to, to the top to survival. When it come down to them, bro, it's gonna be hard for them motherfuckers to, to, to survive because they never went through the, the hardship, the pain, and, and struggle like we did, bro. That's why I'm like, man, do what y'all wanna do because y'all just making me stronger. Y'all wanna knock a nigga down. Do what you gotta do. A nigga still gonna come back and be strong as, strong as hell. That's why I'm telling y'all niggas, bruh. I like, I like 2020.
too. Look at that fast ass motherfucker. <laughs> I like 20, 2020 was. It was bad. But you gotta look at the good and the bad. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't tripping. I had I I had my fun while I, while I left. You dig? So they try to stop a nigga, but a nigga came up no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know that's how life goes, bro. People gonna act like they wanna be your friends or something with you, bro. It's gonna all that shit, you know what I'm saying? You guys take it for a, a, a grain of salt, you know? Never give your trust to nobody, only to God, you dig? That's 100, for real. Y'all need to understand that shit, because people, a lot of people not in it for y'all to win it, bruh. I'm just telling y'all the honest truth, bruh. A lot of people not in it for people to win it. They just want people to, they just want to use people to get the best out of what they can get. And... It's not gonna work like that, you know what I'm saying? Cause where there's a will, there's a way, you feel me? So, but like I said, 2020 been crazy as hell. And I feel like it should get better, but you know how, how shit is going now? The coronavirus, that really fucked us up in 2022. You know, and a lot of people, are, you know what I'm saying, died from that. But that's how it goes, bro. The strong must survive, you feel me? That's how life goes. But, um, 2020 really been a teaching lesson. It really have. It made me stronger. It got me back on my grind. And, trust me, I ain't gonna give up on y'all niggas. Though. And I'm not gonna give up on YouTube, you feel me? Because, and that's how life is. And, um, fuck with your boy. Cause 2020 just the part of it, part of this. 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, da 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 da. Looking at the year's gonna go up, and we finna run these numbers up. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with your boy, cause there's gonna be more lit videos, more lit vlogs, basketball, all types of shit. Just wait for the future. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, we finna get through this shit. We finna make some shit. Go up to the stars and never give up. Fuck with your boy. We out this bitch, and yeah.